The other day I got a notification that season three of my favorite show on Netflix came out and it's actually the most popular show on Netflix right now. But when I started watching it, I was horrified because this is what I saw. He's not okay. Some fucking brain dead anti got him sick. And it's probably out there getting God knows how many other people infected with some horrible life threatening virus that shouldn't even be a thing anymore. <laughs> you see, we just don't believe in subjecting kids to toxic injections they don't need to fight things their bodies were created to fight. We don't judge people who do, of course. Anyway, I, geez, I didn't come here to get on a soapbox. Again, we, um, we apologize. The most important thing is that everyone is better now, right? Hey, Gil. Yep. So it's not only social media and the mainstream media that's been infiltrated, it's now also Netflix shows. And that just goes to show you how deep this agenda actually runs. And I don't know this for a fact, but I'm willing to bet you that somebody paid the producers off to make sure that that was in the show. And again, we have to start asking ourselves why. If the current narrative is so accepted by the world, as the mainstream media tells us it is, why are they spending so much money, so much time, and so much energy to make sure that it's being pushed absolutely everywhere? And the truth is, the fact that they're allocating so much money, time, and energy to continuously brainwash the population is a very clear indication that they're not succeeding. Otherwise, they wouldn't be allocating so much time to doing so. So as annoying as it was to see this in that Netflix show, it also gave me a lot more faith for humanity because it's a clear indication that we are not where they want us to be and they will do whatever they can to get us to that point. But we're not going to get there because the truth will always prevail. Thank you very much.